EA Play Live is right around the corner and I thought it'd be a great idea to keep ourselves up to date on what to expect and what we know is going to be at the event and keep our expectations in check. Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about what to expect at EA Play Live. We're going to be going over the confirmed games that are going to be at EA Play Live, what to expect from EA Play Live, and what to not expect from EA Play Live. If this is your first time here, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with more gaming content just like this. We mainly cover LEGO Star Wars, these Skywalkers, I got other Star Wars Wars games and Lego games. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you subscribe. Now let's get right into this video. So first let's go over the two confirmed games for EA Play Live. And since this is a Lego channel and a Star Wars channel, I'm not gonna cover this too much in this video. Battlefield and Apex Legends are confirmed to be at the event. They're going to have some sort of announcement showcasing the upcoming game for Battlefield and Apex Legends is probably gonna talk about some new season or something. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll announce an Apex Legends too. Obviously, I'm not sure. They just said that Apex Legends and Battlefield are going to be there. Now our next big game that many people are talking about when it comes to EA Play Live is Jedi Fall in order to. Many gamers, not even just Star Wars gamers, are very excited for this game, and we've literally had zero official confirmation that this is happening, but every single person in this planet knows that Jedi Fall in Order 2 is getting a sequel. They've been working on the game since before the first game came out. There's been multiple writers and developers that have come out after Jedi Fall in Order was released saying that they're working on something Fall in Order related. Everything to do with their job listings point to another Fallen Order 2 game, and higher-ups at EA have said that they want Fallen Order to be its own franchise, so I mean, it just looks like it makes so much sense for Fallen Order 2 to be a thing. We know that they want to continue the IP, and we know that the same studio that worked on the first game is working on something else Star Wars related, so it only makes sense. And again, developers and writers have come forward and said that they're working on Fallen Order related, so it just makes sense. I expect we could get a logo and a title reveal for the next game, and potentially like one of those CG shorts that give you like a little idea of what the game is about. You'll be seeing some footage on the screen right now of what the first Fallen Order teaser trailer was. Potentially something like this. Since the game is actually getting close to being done, it's more than halfway that's for sure, since they've been working on it since 2019. And typically games have like a one year, one and a half year window between when they're announced and when they're released. Obviously that's not true for all cases. Look at Lego Star Wars, for example, oh my, my God. God. But I do strongly believe that Fallen Order will be at this event. It's been leaked by multiple credible sources and all the other information that I've told you just points towards Fallen Order being at this event. Now, the things not to expect at EA Play Live, LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, I know lots of you are looking towards every single gaming event and saying Skywalker Saga could be there. This is probably the least likely event in the entire summer for LEGO Star Wars to be at because this is an EA conference, so it just doesn't make sense for the Skywalker Saga to be there at all. It just, it doesn't make sense. It won't be there. Now, Battlefront. Let's talk about Battlefront for a second. Battlefront 2 had a controversial launch and then was redeemed by the end of its lifespan, and EA thought they redeemed themselves with the players by redeeming that game. And then they immediately canceled the game and rushed all those developers over to Battlefield. Well, now that Battlefield is coming out, are they going to talk about Battlefront? No. I do not think they'll be talking about Battlefront at this event for sure because of Battlefield. Had Battlefield come out, maybe it would be different, but since the game hasn't come out yet, I do not believe that they'll be sharing anything Battlefield related. They're made by the same studio and lots of the same developers that worked on Battlefront 2 worked on Battlefield. So to talk about Battlefront while they're still campaigning for Battlefield's release before it comes out at their gaming event, it just doesn't make sense. Battlefront 3 would overshadow the entire event if they announced it, even Fallen Order, if they announced the Battlefront 3. And yes, that attention is good, but they still want Battlefield to do well, and they still want Fallen Order to be that Star Wars game that's going to be at this event, so do not expect Battlefront 3. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. What else do you think we're going to see at EA Play Live? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.